In this video, we'll try to understand what exactly is the use of is null function and what is the use of coalesce function. Now, let me pronounce again coalesce. So I'm not sure that, you know, if that pronunciation is right, but English is my second language. So in case it is not right, you know, uh, I'm extremely sorry for that. Okay. So in this video, we'll try to demonstrate is null and coalesce function. So let's first start with is null. So in order to demonstrate the is null function, you can see that uh, I have created a very simple table here. Uh, the table name is TBL person and it has two columns, first name and surname. And uh, if you go and fire select query over this table here, TBL person, you can see that uh, it has some records here. And uh, uh, you can see that, you know, some of the records, you know, have null in surname and some of the records have null in the first name okay so when i do a select here you can see that i am getting records you know for example you can see prasad here so for the first name is present but the surname is not there so it is null then we have raju again the surname is not there it is null then we have koirala here it, he does not have a first name you know entered here so you can see it is null right now what we would like to do here is you know we would like to get rid of this null function in other words uh, this null data in other words what i would like to do is i would like to probably go and fire a select query you know where probably I would like to get name and I would like to say that okay if he has a first name given take the first name if he does not have the first name and if he has a surname then take the surname so how do we do that right so that's where we have this is null function so what I can do is I can say here is null and I can say that okay if this first name is null then take the surname right and if the first name has some data then just return the first name okay so you can see over here now very quickly I'm saying here is null so this is the first column and so if the first name is null he will return the surname if the first name is not null he will just return the first name right and we will give uh, a name to this column here as name okay and if you execute this now you can see that you know it's only one column here and you can see that wherever there is first name he has retrieved the first name and wherever there is surname he has retrieved the surname so whichever column you know is basically uh, having not null values he has retrieved that column so this is nice so in other words you know is null function actually uh, checks for nulls and if that column value is having nulls right he will return you know whatever you have given uh, in the other condition and in case if he does not have null he will actually return the same value of the column okay now this is good till now now let's say we have one more column here so let me just go and refresh this now you can see there is one more column added here called as pet name okay so i'm just trying to complicate this thing here now let's say if we go and do a select here so i have your first name uh, then the surname and then the pet name okay so rather than two columns i have created now three columns now if you see the data here now the data is a bit complicated as compared to the first scenario so you can see that okay some of the rows have only first name some of the rows have only surname and some of the rows have only pet name so now what i'd like to do is i'd like to say that okay wherever you have the non-null columns just return only that column in other words for example in the first row i would like to just return prasad in the second row i would like to just return raju right in the third row and the fourth row i would like to just return surname that is koirala and shinde and in the last row i would like to just return shivdia right now if i try to use the is null function let's say if i try to use this is null function here let's say and if i execute this you can see i get an error over here so this error says that the is null function can take only two arguments in other words it can take either the first name and the surname or it can take either the surname and the pet name so how do we now work around this right and that's where exactly we have the coalesce function the coalesce function you know you know actually it retrieves the first non-null column value you know from a row so in other words if i type here coalesce coalesce and i say here as names right what it will do now is wherever you find the first name he'll give the first name if he does not find the first name then he will try for the surname if the surname has values it will return the surname or else you know in case if so first name and surname do not have the values it will return the pet name so now if i try to do a execute here you can see now he has returned five records and whichever columns have the value you know those records have been returned so just to cross check if i do a select star from 
uh, TPL person, right? If I do this, now you can see over here, uh, this down window over here, this uh, data which is seen in the down window pane is the data as it is from the table. And this one is the data which is returned from the collage function. So you can see now, let's start from the first record. So you can see here Prasad here and the surname and the pet name is null. So he has just taken Prasad. Okay. Now you can see the second, second record Raju. So because Raju is in the first name and the surnames are null. So he has taken Raju from it. Now look at the third record. You know, the third record has first name null and the pet name null. And it has name only in the Kerala, right? Uh, in the surname. So Kerala is returned. And look at the last record. In the last record, we have no values in the first name and surname. So he has just taken the pet name and display, displayed over here. Right. So in short, you know, Coles, you know, helps you to return the first non-null column, you know, from multiple columns. Multiple columns means, for example, here we have first name, surname and pet name. From all those multiple columns, it helps us to return the first non-null column. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. In this video, we were trying to understand what is the use of is null function and uh, we also saw the advanced function of is null function which is called as the collase function thank you so much